so it's 2 a.m. and I'm just about done field dressing this cow bison. The hide over there. Whew, it's cold out here, December 12th. Um, so, to answer a question that I didn't see anybody else answer, um, is it possible to field dress a bison solo? Uh, so my wife made it clear that once she tagged out, she was tapping out. <laughs> and the rest was, was my work. So, yes, it is possible. It uh, probably is not advisable. I guess uh, this cow is about similar to a, a large bull elk in, in some respects. Um, and you can see her, her head is massive. That's a, oops, oh, lose my balance, sorry. 2 a.m., a little tired. That's a size 12, oh, excuse me, 11 boot. Um, come on, focus. Size 11 boot. <clears throat> I keep tipping over on the hillside here. And, uh, yeah, she's massive. Um... The hindquarters, you know, their butts are kind of small, but the hindquarters are still, still big, 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 big. So I've got the hindquarters there, split it open because when they're that big, uh, they're just not going to cool well enough on their own. Just as a hindquarter, you've got to split that open down to the bone and and uh, get that cooling in the center. I even prop that one open with a piece of plastic the way it was laying to splay open like like that one would uh the rear hams well there are two two difficulties doing it solo those, those rear legs um, they are heavy i don't know how much they weigh they're they're probably close to 100 pounds um that's a guess they might be a little bit shy of that uh the only way i was really able to do it solo was to put a uh, a length of paracord on the hawk and uh, wrap that up around my shoulders and under my arm twice and pull on that and get nice and short so I could use my, my back and my, uh, my body uh, torso to lift it while I held on with one hand and finished cutting with the other. Um, on a cow elk I can do that without that kind of assistance just Look at the size of that, that back strap and that tenderloin. Oh, that's a huge tenderloin. That's awesome. Um, on, a, on a cow elk, I can do that, you know, by myself. It's a struggle for me. My left arm's a little bit weaker. And uh, the cow elk I took, the last cow elk I took uh, this, this fall archery was uh, a bit of a struggle with one hand lifting it with my left hand while I finished cutting it with my right hand. If I switched the knife to the left and lifted with the right and cut with the left, I did okay, could lift it up. It was, I mean, it's a struggle because you're leaning over underneath and trying to fish off it with this cow bison. That was just a bit too much to be able to do that. Um, needed some help. I had to have the strap up around my shoulders uh, and the paracord right there to uh, lift it. Um, otherwise, standard gutless method, everything is almost identical, except, you know, obviously those vertebrae. Uh, I don't know what you call them exactly the, the spines up vertical spines on the vertebrae are just are massive on this thing uh, so that is different pulling the back strap off there uh, be sure to to come down come down really low here and uh, pull as much of that back strap as you can to get as <coughs> many tender stakes as possible uh, that was the commentary I wanted to do yeah it's possible to do solo. Oh, hey, uh, in Utah, since, uh, you know, the wild bison, they want to know the age, a, 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 word of, um, a word of wisdom learned from experience. Open the jaw as soon as it passes away. <laughs> and either take the teeth then or prop it open or something. Just open the jaw before rigor mortis sets in. Yeah, that'd be a lot easier to take out the teeth if, if I had done that. But uh, here it is several hours later. Um, cause this, t let's see, what time is it? 2 AM. So this took me five hours to get to this point. 
Um, I it didn't really get started till nine. I mean, wife tapped out and wanted to be out of here before dark. Shot it just at dark and uh, at dusk as we hurried back. And uh, and so it took me time to to gather what I wanted and extra warm clothing and and head back out here. I was I wanted to to go ahead and do it right away, but. We had made that agreement ahead of time, so here we are. We are, we have a plastic tablecloth spread of full of meat. But yes, you can do it solo. Packing it out of here solo, that's not going to be very fun. There's an uphill climb about 100 yards here before it levels out, and then I can walk the, the flat. It's about a mile and a half back to, uh, to uh, where the truck is. Um, I can pull the ATV a little bit closer than that, but uh, I don't know if that's an authorized trail. I'll have to take a look at that when I actually get back. So, uh, yeah, that's that. You can do it. It's just, it is a pain in the back, literally. It's, a, it's not the simplest of, of things. Anyway, 2018 Cow Bison Henry Mountains. Pretty stoked. We were concerned we weren't going to find one. Well, I mean, I, I saw them, but they were always kind of out of reach for my wife. I mean, we went for a 10-mile hike yesterday. Well, five miles in, five miles out. And uh, they weren't there where, where I had glassed them the two days previously. But we followed some tracks today and were able to find this uh, this small herd. About 13 animals. Well, now there's 12. And uh, picked a cow out of there. Oh, yes, that's the other thing. Uh, another problem with doing it solo is not just the, the hams. The, the, second, the second issue is um, this fur. It's not like an elk or a deer where it's mostly guard hairs. And it's pretty simple to, to keep it off the, uh, off the meat. And I'm pretty meticulous when I'm, when I'm cleaning. I don't want any hairs or dirt. And, and, I, and I had problems, you know, especially as I flipped her over. Um, you know, the brisket and, and neck came over and contacted dirt and, and had some issues there so a um, little bit of loss but the hair it's not guard hairs like you have on 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 other ungulates it's it's fuzz it's soft and it's and so and, and it pulls a lot of it pulls out really easy so especially since it's so much fuzz in various areas, you get these little fuzz balls every time you cut uh, through the through the skin, and yeah, it's hard to keep hair off the meat. It would have been very handy to have somebody with me to um, be uh, holding and pulling the the hide back to keep those loose ends from flopping back over onto the meat. That was that was something that took me some extra time. It was a little bit difficult. Manageable. I got a little hair to clean up when I get home. Not bad. Not bad at all. But that, that fuzz is, is definitely more difficult to manage than it is on a uh, an elk. Um, exit wound right there. Um, Barnes TTX. 180 grain, 30 out 6. Hit the, uh, the other shoulder, front side shoulder. Shattered it. And then came through and, and caught the bottom of that vertebrae. You know, I could feel inside there and feel the vertebrae, caught the bottom of that vertebrae and uh, busted through still. Um, looks like the bullet worked exactly as it's supposed to, stayed pretty much intact and passed right through. And, well, I don't know, it's totally intact. There might be a petal or two in there, but, but that exit wound isn't this giant giant mushroom it's big and it's it, it was massive the blood was was really pouring out of it but um, the bullet retained its weight to push right on through despite hitting that massive leg I mean the leg is absolutely shattered I can show you over here but it's pretty gory um, I don't know if I really want to put that on YouTube this is bad enough um, for various content people might not appreciate it um, 
so yeah that that worked very well on this it knocked her down <laughs> and you know i was about to do high fives and hugs and well with my wife and hugs and kisses and uh celebrate <laughs> and you know before we know it you know well she's down and all leg four legs are kicking and i mean it looks like she's down for the count and and she got up uh, second shot appears to have missed um but uh that was more insufficient she didn't go more than oh what was it maybe 80 yards tops and she was lagging way behind the herd she was she was having troubles and she didn't she couldn't make it up this hill so she stopped on the hill up there a ways and rolled down here um, after she passed away so yes you can do it solo pain in the back pain in the butt but you can do it